everyone, welcome back to White Coats and Stilettos. And if you are new, welcome to the family. So before we begin this video, I want to congratulate our giveaway winner. Christina from San Antonio. She's currently at MS3 and she won the blueprints from, uh, for obstetrics and gynecology. Christina, that book will be to you within the week. And thank you for subscribing. So I've just completed the first week of my fourth year in medical school. However, my school actually started last month, but I took that month off to study for step two, which was time well spent. I went to Dallas, hung out with my niece, and pretty much lived off my older sister and had free food. So it was really, really a good time for me to hang out with my family and to also study. So today I wanna talk about exactly what fourth year is like, the specialty I'm going into, and then what my plans are for the future. So right now, I'm starting my uh, MICU rotation, which is Medicine Intensive Care Unit. And it's like one of those rotations that everyone fears because the presentations are so difficult. These patients are so sick, they have so many things going on with them, and you really need to know each system and present that to your attending. So prior to starting this rotation, I was really, really anxious and scared. and. Um, in order to prepare, I bought a book called The ICU Book, and I've kind of been leisurely reading that. The book is really expensive, but honestly, I felt like it was a good investment for me because I know that I will be using it for next year once I finally become an intern. So if you haven't guessed, the specialty that I am planning on going into is internal medicine. And the funny thing is, prior to coming to medical school, I thought that I wanted to do pathology and that's because I was a chemistry major and that's something I already knew and I thought pathology help, um, was more in line with the uh, degree that I got in college. Um, however, literally the first day of medical school, I took this questionnaire that kind of matches your personality with specific specialties um, and when I took the assessment, I realized that I really like complex cases, I love puzzles, I love solving and figuring out patients' problems and then pretty much guiding them back into their normal state of life or alleviating some of the problems that they have. So that kind of moved me towards internal medicine. However, I also wanted to be some type of specialist in something and I knew I wanted to use my hands but not enough to want to do surgery. That's one thing I was sure of. I think in a different world or in another universe, I probably would have picked surgery, but now nah, dog. So wanting to use my hands, I felt like there was a lot of subspecialties in internal medicine that I can specialize in. But more specifically, I felt like GI or gastroenterology was a specialty that I could have really, really used my hands and more so in the form of scopes. And if I really wanted to Lead, lead more into a, like a surgical field, I can also do another year on top of the six years that I would be already doing to do ERCPs, which is practically surgery. So the fact that I have a lot, a lot of options at my disposal by specializing or going into internal medicine was something that I really, really loved about the specialty. Uh, I didn't really have to make up my mind even though my mind was made up the first day of medical school. The first year of medical school, I thought, okay, internal medicine and gastroenterology is most likely going to be the field I'm going to go into. And it wasn't until my, um, what did they call it? I don't know, but it wasn't until my GI module during my second year of medical school that I knew, yeah, this is a specialty that I'm gonna go into because for some reason, I just understood everything about the liver, the gallbladder, the intestines, just I don't know what it is about GI that everything just makes so much sense. So during my first two years, I started looking more into the specialty. I started following gastroenterologists around San Antonio. I even did a two month uh, research rotation at Mayo Clinic and followed some of the gastroenterologists there. And with each shadowing and with each experience I was getting into the subspecialty, I realized that I really, really loved it. And it was something that I was willing to work hard for. Now, the one thing I didn't know about GI is that it's a very competitive spe uh, subspecialty. Over the years, as I started doing more research, I started to realize that a lot of people like the specialty because I guess the pay is good, um, their hours are good, and they just look happy. Like, 
Gastroenterologist, I don't think I've ever seen a angry or sad or a gastroenterologist that I just looked at and been like, your life is, I'm sorry. So that's another thing that attracted me to it and I'm sure that's another thing or those are aspects that attract a lot of people to the subspecialty. Um, so to give you guys a little bit of a timeline about how to become a gastroenterologist, you have to do three years of internal medicine and then another three years of, G of a GI fellowship and then after that, then you can start working and uh, being a and attending. Um, but if you want to further spe uh, subspecialize, um, there's more years added on to those six basic years that everyone needs. So that's a little bit of a timeline. Um, so in terms of fourth year, fourth year is like the golden year of medical school. It's like everyone just lives their best life. People's skin starts to just lighten up. Like people start working out. It's just amazing, and it's because. They didn't have to study as much as we had to the first three years and I'm living that life right now and guys it is great like to all my first years second years and third years there is a light at the end of the tunnel there are better days fourth year those are your better days and even though I'm in the MICU the hours are crazy I have to do night shifts from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. it's okay because you know what I know that I can go home and sleep but for fourth year, it's like the only things that you have to worry about is killing your sub internships and writing your personal statements, making your CV look good and prepare for applications and interviews. I mean, that's that's pretty much what fourth year encompasses. And so my schedule for fourth year is pretty relaxed and badass if I could say so myself um so uh, some of the rotations that I'll be doing of course is the make you I also have a rotation in GI that I'm so excited for um I have a rotate I have a block where I'm doing pharmacy because although I did pretty well in pharmacy on my step one exam I'm not sure how step two went because I don't have my results yet however pharmacy is still one of my weakest subjects um, it's just some of these names are pretty difficult and hard and another class I'll be taking is ultrasound I've been trying to learn how to use how to be efficient in ultrasound because that is one of the imaging modalities that every single physician needs to know in my per in my uh, personal opinion I feel like every physician should be at, should know at least how to work an ultrasound because it's one of the easiest imaging modalities that you can use to quickly uh, diagnose a patient another um, module that I'm taking is e an EKG class to this day I can't read EKGs like I really struggle with EKGs. I can read the basic EKGs. Like I can tell you where a P line is, a P wave, a QRS, a T wave. I may can show you what pericarditis looks like. I may can show you what a first degree, second degree, or third degree block looks like. However, in real life, patients' EKGs aren't as cookie cutter. So I really want to be able to see a patient's EKG, look at it for about a minute and know exactly what's going on with that patient. So that's another class that I'll be taking in order to enhance my EKG reading abilities. So guys, that's pretty much what fourth year is all about. Our applications open September um, and we can also send them in in September and rotations, start, I mean rotations, interviews start uh, anywhere from October until January based on the field that you're going into so that's going to be a lot of traveling a lot of money will be spent a lot of I feel like a lot of fourth year is spending money and traveling but it's okay because I love traveling and I can rack up those points I would suggest any fourth year or any third year currently thinking about fourth year to get a Southwest card or get some type of travel card because your fourth year you'll be traveling a hell of a lot okay so yeah guys that pretty much concludes this video I have a lot of ideas for you guys for my next video um, a lot of you guys have been asking me how do you stay fit while being in medical school what's dating like in medical school um, and I should be doing a video of how I studied for step two honestly if I'm gonna be real depending on my score if it ain't that good then you guys will know because there won't be a video alright also guys be sure to follow the Instagram page white coats and stilettos to keep up with me keep up with some of the fashion some of the workouts and when all my videos are uploaded thank you guys for watching I see you later
constant on my lips. 